Are you still rocking an old piece of sh like this? Which is definitely a crappy laptop and not a portable DVD player from the 90s, which I use as a prop. Well, then you come to the right place, my friend. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best absolute gaming laptops for streaming in 2021. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find this video. And if you're super impatient and you don't want to listen to me ramble for several minutes, it's this one, this one, and this one. So all the links to all these are going to be in the description down below, so you can just check them out right now. But I'm going to explain why I prefer gaming laptops, and I'm going to go into more depth into each one of these laptops later in the video. But why would you want a gaming laptop instead of a PC? There's a couple of different reasons. Reason number one is just having pure portability. Since I'm a music producer and I make music for video games, commercials, I need to be able to have portability so that way if I need to make music on the go, I'm able to do so. Shameless self-promotion, go check out the Mortuary Assistant, which has been played by PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and more. I made the music for it and the demo is out on Steam right now. If you guys want to say hi to me on Twitter, Twitter is down in the description below as well. If I'm lugging around a hundred pound different gaming desktop PC with no monitor, it's impossible for me to do my job. But also, being able to stream on the road and be able to do my music production on the road at the same time is a double whammy and a no-brainer for me on why I prefer having a gaming laptop for the portability reasons over having a gaming PC. Obviously, your situation is going to vary from person to person, but if you value portability, then that's why a gaming laptop might be more worthwhile for you. Reason number two is that there's so many scalpers now, so if you're trying to get individual PC parts, you're going to be paying an arm and a leg in order to get those parts to build your PC. Or you have to wait in a Best Buy line for 12 hours just in hopes that you might be able to buy a PC or graphics card at retail price before the scalpers get to it. So if you value portability and you don't want to deal with a bunch of scalpers, then let's move on to the best gaming laptops in 2021. By the way, all the Amazon links are going to be located in the description down below if you want to follow along at home and add them to your wish list. One of the best gaming laptops in 2021 is going to be the Razer Blade 15 Advanced Gaming Laptop in the 2021 edition. This thing is an absolute beast. This is easily one of the most powerful gaming laptops available to the public and it's no surprise why. So a big reason why a lot of people like the Razer Blade 15 is that they actually have a bunch of different variations of the laptop to fit everyone's needs. So you can get a version that has an RTX 360, an RTX 370, an RTX 380, and so many different variations from there. But just in general, it has a 10th generation Intel Core i7 CPU. The GPU can go all the way up to the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Max-Q. You can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. They have a couple different screen sizes, varying from 1080p at 360 hertz, 1440p at 165 hertz, or 4K at 60 hertz. For your storage, you can get all the way up to one terabyte on a solid state drive with a battery of 80 watt hours. And this little guy's coming in at just over four and a half pounds, so it's actually very sleek, stylish, and easy to carry. Unlike a lot of these other gaming laptops where they're just chunky, ugly, and just a pain in the butt to carry around. So a few reasons on why I really enjoy this laptop is that the build quality is fantastic. They give you so many different options between CPU and GPU, and it can play or do anything you need it to do because this thing is an absolute beast. Comparing it to other Windows laptops, this has one of the best mouse trackpads if you're not using an external mouse. Unlike a lot of other gaming laptops or PCs when you're playing these high caliber games, it's not going to sound like a PS4 where it sounds like a rocket's about to go launch into space. So the acoustics on that front are actually pretty reasonable. It's not going to sound like a construction yard next door. And just plain and simple, this is one of the fastest gaming laptops available to the public right now. So there's two minor things that I personally don't like about it. The first thing that I'm not too fond of is that the built-in webcam actually it looks pretty freaking bad. It almost looks like you're a Minecraft character. But obviously, if you've watched some of my other videos on streaming guides, then you'll know that you'll need an external webcam like the Logitech C920, the Logitech Brio, or you can possibly get a DSLR and hook that bad boy up as well. So the webcam, not a deal breaker, but just kind of a eh, you know, because you're paying so much money up front, you'd think they'd be able to give you a little bit better of an option. And minor annoyance number two is that the charger is kind of like an L shape. So you have to make sure that it's facing back towards the back of the laptop, because if it's facing towards the front, then it's going to block off one of the USB ports and that's just annoying. It's a minor thing but it's just annoying. You'd hope that the charger would just kind of come in from the side and not have those awkward little like stands outs because then it blocks ports and nobody wants that. But when you think about the webcam and the charging being kind of minor annoyances, everything else about this laptop I'm completely ecstatic for. So if you're able to pony up the money in order to buy one of these, this is going to be the best gaming laptop for streaming in 2021. So if you're watching this around Christmas time, make sure you're nice and not naughty and make sure to put it on your Christmas list. But 
a close runner up to this laptop is actually going to be the Asus Zephyrus G15. This laptop is pretty close to the spec quality of the Razer Blade 15, depending on which model you ended up going with. And it's also a great alternative to this laptop if you can't get your hands on either one of them, because this laptop is also a beast. So this laptop has a nice and long battery life. The processor is an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS with eight cores. The RAM is going to be 16 gigabytes DDR4 with 3200 megahertz, and the hard drive being a one terabyte NVMe solid state drive. The operating system that this laptop works with is Microsoft Windows 10, which happens to be my personal favorite. And for the display, it has a 15.6 inch screen. The maximum display resolution is 2560 by 1440 pixels. With this little guy coming in at just under 4.2 pounds, it's smaller than the other laptop we mentioned earlier. And I'm truly a big fan of the design of this laptop. I think it looks slick. I think it looks nice. And I wouldn't be embarrassed to be caught using this in public. So for those reasons, the Asus Zephyrus G15 is a great alternative to the Razer Blade 15 if for whatever reason you can't get your hands on the Razer Blade 15, or if you just prefer the sleek design of this laptop instead. But I'm going to go over one more laptop in case neither of these two fit the bill for you. The last laptop that I want to talk to you about today is the Alienware M17 R4. This laptop also has a few variations. There's one that comes with an RTX 3060, 3070, and 3080. For the 3060 model, it has a standing screen display size of 17.3 inches. It has a 1920 by 1080p screen resolution. Processor is 2.2 gigahertz Core i7. It's got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. For the hard drive, it has one terabyte solid state drive. The graphics card RAM size is six gigabytes. It has three USB 3.0 ports and it runs on Windows 10 Home. If you guys are thinking about playing VR games, this laptop will still be able to handle it even though it's not as powerful as the first two depending on which models you guys went with. And this laptop should still be able to handle most of the challenging game programs or any kind of heavy games that you're trying to play and or stream. So a few things that I really like about it is that the GPU has an extra six gigabytes of local RAM, which is gonna help you when you're playing a lot of your different games. Usually when you're playing a lot of graphic intensive games, a lot of these laptops will start to generate a lot of heat, but luckily Alienware has a good cooling technology with this specific laptop, so that way it doesn't get as hot as a lot of the other laptops. When you're playing on these laptops, especially like the AAA games on the highest settings, 60 FPS, so on and so forth, they tend to make a lot of noise. Like the fans make a lot of noise. For this laptop, that's not the case though. If you guys, for whatever reason, can't run an ethernet cord to your laptop, this laptop has Wi-Fi 6 enabled. So if you guys have a router that has Wi-Fi 6, it's gonna make your connection even stronger and faster, thus making it a little bit easier for to stream wirelessly instead of not having an ethernet cord ran all the way to your router, which is obviously the best way to do it, but Wi-Fi 6 is gonna be a lot more stable of a connection than a standard Wi-Fi connection. A few things that I'm not a huge fan of on this laptop, usually if you're playing like heavy intense of games on this and you don't have it plugged into the charger, you're only going to get about two hours of gameplay, which kind of sucks. But if you're like me, you can just have the charger plugged in while you're playing these games. But other than that, there's really not too many major things that upset me with this laptop. And it is a really good buy if you plan on investing your money into a good laptop that actually will last you a long time because this will last you several years as long as you take care of it. And it's not going to be one of those laptops that you go to Walmart, you pay a couple hundred bucks for, and it's outdated the next year and it can't run anything. So that's why you really got to keep in mind that yes, a lot of these gaming laptops are quite expensive, but you kind of have to treat it as an investment. The more you spend upfront on your investment, the longer it's going to last throughout the years, thus cutting down you having to rebuy a new laptop and keep replacing that laptop with newer and newer models, which is also better for the environment too, so high five. But overall, if you guys are trying to stream AAA games and play them at the same time, basically any of these laptops, as long as you're going up with the higher end of the models, will be fine for any of the kind of things that you're trying to do. But as always, make sure to do your own research before making one of these purchases, even something as simple is going through the Amazon reviews just to see what other people think and what they're trying to accomplish as well is going to help guide you to make a better educated guess and decision for your purchases. So I'll leave links in the description down below where you can check out these laptops in further detail. But I just want to thank all my patrons for helping support me in the YouTube channel. Feel free to check out these videos on the side. I think they're going to help you out. Happy holidays and I'll catch you next time.